I think a lot of what customers are looking for is clarity in a journey here. They recognize that uh, there's been a ton of technical debt associated with the gathering of their data over the past 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Uh, and now that we have the capability to go and clean it up, uh, this is something that they actually have to go and invest in and have a very uh, diligent plan to go and attack. The convergence usually starts when we build adapters to help us bring the data into what's called a data fabric. And generally in the data fabric, there are two distributed environments that allow us to tell our customers we can tell them that they can keep their lights on and use the operational data in the same way they've been using it for years, but at the same time create a mirror on the other side so that we have that data and we're allowed to go and build analytics on top of that. If you infuse third-party data and other data sets from within the utility, suddenly you have an incredibly valuable source of information that you can go and build models on top of, you can build simple analytics, and you can truly unlock insights that you weren't able to unlock before. That is the vision of the Network Digital Twin. We're able to bring together all these data sets and overlay them on top of a geospatial view. And what that does is it really brings to light all the important information that any customer would like to go and see at any given time. We're working with the utility today on these solutions. One that's particularly interesting to me is an outage prediction app, uh, infusing a number of disparate data sets into one common place so that we can go and predict when the next outage is gonna be and where. Another interesting pilot that we're exploring is what's called anomalous consumption. And that's where we look at the usage patterns of what we would like to call bad agents people that may be bypassing the meter and going straight into the grid and figuring out what that exactly looks like. Now that's interesting because we can actually take that usage fingerprint and run it against data sets to figure out where there may be other bad agents. From there, the utility can go and figure out how to capture back some of that, that stolen energy uh, in a way that saves them lots and lots of money. Uh, we're very excited about the Network Digital Twin in the future because now we can overlay some of the predictive and prescriptive analytics that have been built on top of it. So rather than just seeing what has happened in the past or in the present, we can now see what's going to happen in the future as well.